You are listening to the Republican Talk Show. It is 10.06 p.m. and we are making an emergency update. You know why? Because the corporations, exactly. These big corporations have taken over America and basically they own America. We're joined by a regular guest host, Bo Shmiel. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Bo. All right. So, what do you what do you think about the uh, big corporations right now? What, we we've been broadcasting uh, a little radio show. Uh, Bo's been taking care of it lately, and these big corporations shut us down because we're playing music, and uh, they get mad because we're playing music. They're just losing pennies. What do you think about this, Bo? I think it's fucking bullshit. I think it is too because uh, big corp. You know, you know, we're not even doing anything wrong. Right? We are. Here, here, here's, here's, what they, here's what it says. Priority content is not only illegal, but also hurts the people and industries that we love to support. Well, you know what? Fuck the industry. That's what I can tell you right now. I'd say, fuck them. They don't have enough money, especially with WMG. I, I looked up on Google. I looked up the chairman of WMG. Him and having this dollar house in Twitch for a, a $5 million house. While most people in the United States can barely afford all these corporations own America. The FCC tells people they can't broadcast the radio. We they don't own radio waves, right? If no, I don't. if I want to go out and I want to broadcast, I don't want anybody to tell me that I can't do this because I don't own a radio wave and I need a license so I can broadcast something. You know, all this corp- idea of owning something has been made up by and concepted up by man. For a while now, the Native Americans—they had no concept of this. This was all thought of by Europeans and other, like African and Asian groups. Like Native Americans, when the, when that first happened, they had no concept of owning land. They thought land was for everyone. So why can not be the same with radio waves and, uh, you know, sharing music and stuff like that? Shouldn't it be that maybe this owning of it doesn't really exist, and we just made this crap up while in truth, radio waves are actually supposed to be, you know, available to everyone and to be, like, there for everyone, you know? Yeah. Uh. But again, it's with this fucking, like, see, this is another thing I have against it. It's saying, oh, it's going to hurt the artists. No, it's not going to hurt the artists because people have been down- illegally downloading the music. It's just something you have to live with as an artist. But if pe- but those same people who can go download your music, if they love you un- that much, they'll go to your concerts. And they'll pay to go see your concerts. So you're still making money. And even and even if someone that. doesn't buy a $5 song or $1 or whatever it is, that's not going to even change the millions that these big big, com- big corporations have. It's not even going to nudge it one bit, you know? It's a little tiny drop in an ocean. Basically, that's what it is. And they get mad because we play free radio for people in North Co- no, because they don't, get, they don't get money from us. That's why. They get mad. Another issue we want to talk about is the TSA body scanners. All right, it's almost Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving in two days. People are going crazy about these TSA scanners. They are refusing to go on to them. And this fa- this guy is getting famous on YouTube saying, "Man, don't t- touch my junk." We'll play that clip in the middle of the video. And um, what do you think about these body body scanners, Bo? I think I think it's still. A bunch of bullshit from like the minority of people at the airport who just want to be who just want to have attention to themselves. So they'll just like uh, you know they'll just give attention to themselves by saying you know this isn't right and crap like that and blah blah blah. I mean you know it's either this or some guy can have some bomb in his underpants or his ass well, and then <laughs> blow himself up. You see these, but you see what they're doing. That's basically the people are are getting mad because they're getting profiled. They're singling out old ladies and children. Getting the, getting them to get the pat downs. It's not really the body scanners that are people getting mad about. They're getting mad about this pat downs. This guy, the guy, um, was singled out and he was taken to his room, and this guy was starting to touch him in his pubescent areas, and this guy says, "Don't touch my junk." <laughs> and if I, I'm sure you heard it on the news, all over the place. Guy's famous. Um, other people too. They're making a big deal out of these. Uh, TSA individuals who are not professional and they just, you know, the civil, if civil disobedience is high, then 
this transportation system's not going to work. I've heard on the radio on NPR, there was a discussion uh, last night, and they were talking about it, and this guy says it's sort of a security theater. It, it makes people feel a bit safe about these scanners, but really, they're not doing anything at all. And these pat-downs are driving people crazy. And, you know, it's just messing everybody up. What do you think? Uh, I don't think it's such a big deal. But wait, if you went to an airport, or if you went to an airport and you were singled out, and they said they had to give you a thorough pat-down, and they were going to inspect your pubescent areas thoroughly, would you agree to that? Well, no, they don't, it's, they don't, I don't think that's what they do. The, well, well, that's that's what happens. It was all over this news. They inspect every single part of your body. Yeah, they just pat it, and then that's it. No, 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 no. Well, this guy says he he he, he roughly patted him in his pubescent areas. Huh. Oh well. Would you agree to that though? What do you? If it got me through, if it got me through the, if it got me through the security quicker, yeah. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Okay. All right. Next subject. I got the pubescent areas thing from the radio. Funny people out there. All right. Next thing about North Korea attacking South Korea, firing artillery at them. That's another big it's about subject. About damn time. So you know, so much fucking hostility. You would actually think they would be willing to erupt within the next couple of days now. Says here that uh, one military individual uh, officer was killed. And many homes were on fire, people running down the street, yelling. It was pure hell, pure chaos. And it looks like a movie. Yeah, basically like the end of the world, and people are going crazy and everything. Who, who's who's the current leader of North Korea now? Some other communist dictator? No, the son of Kim Jong Il. No, oh, another Kim Jong crazy man. Mm, they're all the same. Uh. I fear that that North Korea is going to advance in this nuclear program, and they're, it's very dangerous. We don't need any more nuclear weapons. It's enough already. I wish nuclear weapons wasn't invented. That's just the worst weapon we've ever invented. It's it's enough to destroy our race. Fuck well, that. It's enough to destroy the entire planet and fuck up the entire planet for a good 100,000, 200,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just because of some uh, idiot who has a bunch of... Nuclear missiles. Oh, and then what? What happens if our country is attacked by missiles? What do you think Mr. Barack Obama's gonna do about it? What do you think would be his reaction? Basically, any other president's reaction. Like what? Fire missiles back at them, and then and all the other countries be all pissed off, and then they're gonna fire missiles at each other, and boom, there you go, cold nuclear winter, and we're all dead. You know, Ronald Reagan had a really good plan about. Uh, uh, these missile systems that fire missiles at the other missiles, like interception. And it what you mean, the Star Wars plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that 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 would be a great idea. I mean, but no, no, no. They wanted to do something else. I thought that it couldn't be done. They thought they they thought that it couldn't be done. You know, but look at the technology we have now. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that it would be a good idea to have a nuclear war because there's no winning at it. You know that, right? No, you just all die. It's we, a nuclear war. It's a suicide it's mission. Even, it's not even it's not even fair warfare, okay? It's it's not even just explosive. It's it's explosives. It's radioactive fallout, and then the winds make the radioactiveness fall uh fallout travel. Not only that, but you got uh high levels of temperature reaching sometimes over 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit and just melting and disintegrating everything within its uh, radius of impact. It's a nuclear bomb, dude. And, well, the only way, I don't know how, how we're going to stop. I, I honestly don't see where these people get these ideas to build these weapons. I mean, what do you think, what is the going to accomplish with these building these weapons? I mean, more bloodshed? I mean, I personally think it's just stupid that they have to actually think about it being so good to build all these weapons, all you're doing is just going to add to the human death toll. I mean, these weapons are not necessary, and I personally think that we should dismantle every single. No, actually, no, 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 no. I think we. Should, I think only the United States should have weapons. Why? Because we're more responsible, and we don't have a weird dicta dictator. 
I, mean, I wouldn't say no. But Obama's not a weird dictator. He's a, just a nor He's a normal president who's screwed up. And they're all screwed up. Because if yeah, yeah, they are all are. Our country's owned by yeah. Okay, corporations own our country. I think that the remember how we were talking about the asteroid hitting Earth thing. That's the only thing about nuclear missiles would be good. I think so. But then the international treaty says that no nuclear weapons are allowed in space. I just fire the missiles. They're not gonna care right at the last minute. They'll just fire the missiles anyway. Yeah, I fire the missiles every single one of them. Um, TSA thing. Lots of people have been talking about it. We discussed this. I, I, if I went to the airport, I wouldn't like to touch them in my puben, pubescent areas and pat me down in my, in my lower regions thoroughly. There's this guy. He com I know, lots of people too. I mean, you wouldn't really want that to happen, right? No, I wouldn't want that to happen. And another guy got his, his luggage broken because some idiot in TSA broke his bag. Because they thought it, they red flagged a golf bag and thought that they had an explosive device in there. God. TSA. One word for TSA. No one likes you. Go away. It's you know who no one else actually likes as well? The corporations that have sued. Oh, yeah, yeah. WMG. Uh, copyright. Oh, you copyrighted oh, the song. Fuck their stupid asses. Them and their money grubbing jerks. I looked again, I looked up info on W on WMG. Their chairman has a twelve million dollar house in Beverly Hills. Why don't we go right now and ransack the damn place? <laughs> oh yeah, take all the records and his money. And there you go, say, yeah, here you go, here's your precious money. Because you know at the end of the day, you know what that money's worth? Nothing. 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 We just make it worth something. But in, in the end of the day, all it is, is just paper and metal. That's and, and that's basically what we put value into. Right. You know, paper. gold is worth something, but we put value into that. You know that. Remember I was reading about the Indians, and there's a story. And they saw a giant pile of gold right next to them. It's a true story. And they saw salt. Right. You, know, you know what they took? The salt. Yeah, because it, it, it valued them. They used it in life. They couldn't use the gold. But then the Spaniards, the Spanish took and they took the, the gold, and the Indians killed them all. Well, the funny thing about the, that story was, like, the, the, the Spaniards wanted the gold so badly, and all the in, Native American, all the Indians were probably confused looking at like, what the hell is the big deal? You know? Yeah, they looked at it, and they looked at it and say, hmm, nothing special. The salt, the salt was like no, gold to us. No, but it was like, you know, it's like, when the Spaniards were looking at the Native Americans, they're like, yeah, can we have some of that gold? And they're looking at each other like, Sure, why not? Go ahead and take some. We don't really care. <laughs> we saw no value in gold, and yet you know, we somehow seem we yet somehow see some value in gold, in some value in gold, be only because we allow ourselves to see it. We don't. There is no actual value in gold. We just make it have value. Exactly. All right, you guys were listening to the Republican talk show. Thank you, and remember. If a tea, if you're flying, if you're flying this holiday uh, season, uh, anytime Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, TSA says, sir, I'm gonna have to make you. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run my hand through your lower pubental areas, up your up your bum, and around your crotch, and uh, uh, feel thoroughly. All you have to say is, man, don't touch my junk. <laughs> and that is all. Thank you for listening to the Republican talk show. Good night, everybody.